Have you ever wondered what happens after we die? According to the theory of quantum immortality, consciousness can never truly experience death because it always exists in some form or another. But before we dive into it a little deeper, remember to hit that subscribe button. To understand this theory, let's first look at the principles of quantum mechanics. In Schrodinger's cat thought experiment, a cat is placed in a box with a radioactive source and a Geiger counter. If the Geiger counter detects radiation, a mechanism releases poison that kills the cat. However, until the box is opened, the cat is considered to be both alive and dead, existing in a superposition of states. This concept is known as quantum superposition, where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until they are observed. In Schrodinger's cat experiment, the cat state is not determined until the box is opened and it is observed. This idea was further developed by Hugh Everett, who proposed the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. According to this theory, every possible outcome of a quantum event exists in a separate parallel universe. In other words, if the cat dies in one universe, there exists another universe where it survives. This means that in each moment of our lives, there are infinite versions of ourselves existing in parallel universes, each with different outcomes and possibilities. Our consciousness, which is not bound by the laws of physics, can exist in these different universes, and according to quantum immortality, we will always exist in the universe where we continue to live. This concept can be applied to our own lives. Imagine you're in a car accident that should have been fatal, but you somehow survived. According to quantum immortality, your consciousness will continue to exist in the universe where you survived, while in other universes, your family and friends mourn your death. While there is no scientific evidence to support the idea of parallel universes, there are many anecdotal accounts of people who claim to have experienced quantum immortality. For example, there are stories of people who have survived accidents or illnesses that should have been fatal. Some of these people claim that they felt as if they had died, and then, come back, to life. While there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of parallel universes, some scientists are exploring the implications of quantum mechanics on our understanding of consciousness and the nature of reality. For example, some researchers are studying the role of quantum mechanics in the brain and how it may be involved in consciousness. Dr. Stuart Hameroff, a physicist and consciousness researcher, has proposed the theory of orchestrated objective reduction, which suggests that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe and that quantum mechanics plays a key role in the brain's processing of information. According to this theory, consciousness is not produced by the brain, but rather it is a fundamental aspect of the universe. Dr. Roger Penrose, a mathematician and physicist, has also proposed the theory of quantum consciousness, which suggests that consciousness arises from quantum effects in the brain. According to this theory, the brain's microtubules, which are responsible for information processing, exhibit quantum behavior that is responsible for consciousness. While the concept of quantum immortality may seem like science fiction, it offers a unique perspective on the nature of reality and our place in the universe. It challenges us to think beyond our current understanding of life and death and consider the possibilities of what lies beyond. While we may never know for certain if quantum immortality is true, it is exciting to consider the implications of quantum mechanics on our understanding of consciousness and the universe. See you next time.